No! There will be no sacrifice of any kind. Officer Farron, as your sovereign, I demand you return me to the ship immediately. Forgive me, sovereign. Farron. We have sworn an oath to do his will. We cannot proceed. Officer Farron. I've given you a command. Do you understand me? Get up. I have sworn to protect the sovereign. Your sovereign's dead. Get His up. His soul lives on. Not if I cut him out. You would not. Oh, yes, I would. Baron, you will listen to me. Don't listen. You just do what you came here to do. Forgive us, Sovereign. It is the only way to protect our people. I will not surrender this body, not at any cost. It is mine! It was never ours to take. If you save anyone, you will save me! The people of Taltus will die. Let them! Forgive me, Sovereign. How dare you touch me! For 12 years, we have fought to save the people of Taltus, and we will do everything in our power to do so, no matter how great the sacrifice. sacrifice as well and we will be together do you understand the people of Tathas will be saved and they will remember us forever but we'll be together we'll be together tell yet if they all made it into Farron, but Daniel's readings are back to normal. How'd you do that? It wasn't me, sir. It was Daniel. His consciousness protected itself, and he never emerged for more than a few seconds. That's what allowed Farron to separate the others from Daniel and absorb them himself. More the merrier, I guess. You'll stay in suspended animation until the other ship passengers can be revived and take care of him. You mean them? The Nakwita generator will sustain the power, sir. We should be able to begin the restoration process within hours. And we can start relocating them shortly after that. Good. We'll leave that for SG-4. They love that kind of stuff. How's Daniel? He'll probably be unconscious for a while. I think it's best if we get out of... Daniel? Is that you? Jack. How are you doing? Oh, bad headache. Nail in the head kind of thing? Yeah, something like that. 